Um, what's your favorite comeback so far? And okay, wait. I'm assu- Does that mean for 2015? I'm gonna just say for 2015. My favorite comeback of 2015. I don't know if I can pick just one. I really, really like Nine Muses Her Locker. So that's one. I really like Guy in Paradise Lost a lot. Um, and I really like Cross Jeans Play With Me. So I guess those three. I can't pick one. <laughs> um, when did you start getting serious about dancing or were you always serious about it? Um, I wasn't serious about cover dancing in the beginning. I was just kind of messing around and having fun and distracting myself from what was going on in my life at the moment. So when I uploaded on YouTube, like when I started uploading um, in 2011, I think is the end of 2011 is when I uploaded my first video on YouTube. And it was meant to just be a way so I could post a video, like a video hosting site, um, and then send the link to my friends so they could watch me dance, basically. I uploaded on Facebook too, but for some reason I did YouTube as well, just because I wanted to save the video and be able to go back to it like later in my life or something and be like, look at this video I made. So I treated it kind of as like a video version of Photo Bucket, which I go back and I look at my old pictures sometimes in Photo Bucket and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but uh, I used my channel that I had had since I was... I made when I was 16, um, and my, which was my Jelly Bean Nose channel, and I did not plan on making it a cover dance channel when I started. Literally, I, like I said, just made it just so I could send the link to my friends. And so when I noticed after I uploaded the first two covers, Double uh, S501, Love Like This, and Run Double Run by SNSD, I noticed views. And I was like, who's watching my video if I'm not sending them the link? And then I was like, oh, well, this video is public, so I guess anyone could, but, like, why? I didn't know how YouTube worked, and this was, like, a long time ago. I don't know, this was before there were a lot of cover dancers, I think. Um, and I was just kind of like, well, wow. I, when I started getting comments about, like, wow, you're really good, make more, make more, I was like, should I? Should I make more? Like, do people actually want to watch me dance? And so I think I got ser- I got serious about it like the late summer of 2012 when I uploaded Kara's, I uploaded Kara's step in the spring of 2012 and then when I saw another jump of subscribers and like comments and stuff about that, that's when I started getting serious about it and then whatever my next cover was, I can't remember right now, I, that's when I got serious. Um, so around the time when I was doing like Andamiro, Hypnotize, I think that was 2012 and then I did Bubble Pop soon after that, around there was when I was like, hey, this is taking me somewhere, this is kind of cool. <laughs> um, what got you into doing ASMR? I've never talked about ASMR on a video on this channel before, just because, I don't know, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, but if you don't know what ASMR is, look it up on Google, because it's like really hard for me to explain, and it's kind of, yeah. Um, but. I got into ASMR a um, couple years ago because my sister recommended it to me because I was having a lot of anxiety attacks and she said well maybe um, this thing called ASMR will be able to help you relax at night. She said that she listened to it while she goes to sleep and she said it's very relaxing. So I listened to ASMR for a few years and then I was like, hmm, wouldn't it be cool if I like made an ASMR video but like did a scary story? Because I love scary stories. I love scary stuff. And I actually uploaded one on an old channel. It was like um, Tokyo Has Soul or something like something like that. And um, I actually got a decent response on it from people that I didn't know. And um, But I ended up closing that channel because I didn't like it. And then years later, like about a, almost a year ago now, I started a new... ASMR channel, um, which is Jelly Bean Knows ASM, Jelly Bean Knows ASMR, Jelly Bean ASMR is what it's called, and I did it because I thought that making ASMR videos would help relax me as well as listening to them, and I also wanted to help other people that were going through what I was going through, and with the comments and like messages that I've received, I'm I'm doing that, so it feels amazing to be able to help people and have them say like. I have really bad anxiety, but your videos help me so much, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's exactly how I felt when I would listen to it, 
like my anxiety would be so bad and then they would calm me down and I'm just, I don't know, makes me feel happy. Um, are you going to live in South Korea? I doubt it. I doubt it. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I did, it would be because I was over there teaching English and I don't know if I want to do that or not. It's, it's I don't know. <laughs> Where do you dance? Uh, do you rent a studio? Another question I get asked a lot. Um, here's the thing. I have worked really hard to find places to dance and film. Because, like I said, Arizona, most of the year, it's too hot to film outside. Like, today, again, 105 degrees outside. I would not be okay if I did a cover outside. I wouldn't. I would probably die. So, during the school years at ASU, there was the SRC, which had a couple of dance rooms available, which is where most of my covers were filmed during, like, 2000. 14, beginning in 2014 to like when I graduated in May. <laughs> um, that's where most of them were filmed, which was great because that was always available and I can get in for free because I was a student. Now, and also previous summers, it's much harder. There's another building at ASU that has a dance room, but the thing is, is that there, it's really dark, so you know, with all these group summary songs coming out, filming it in those dance rooms just doesn't feel right. It's the room that I filmed Bang 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 in, and that's one of them. And it's like, you know, really dark in there, so it doesn't make sense to do like a poppy, fun, girl group song in there. I'm like, ugh, there's no light, <laughs> there's no windows. Um, and then there's also, I mean, I filmed at my rec center, I filmed at my gym. I think from here on, when school starts again, I think my gym is going to be where I'm going to have to film a lot of my covers coming up. So it's not the best background, um, but it works. <laughs> it works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what genre of music did you listen to before you got into K-pop? A lot of, like, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if this is, like, pop punk. I don't know. I listened to a lot, like, The Used, um, Secondhand Serenade, Brand New, um, Search This City, Anne Berlin, uh, <laughs> Seo Sin, you get it? Like it's like those kind of groups and that kind of music I was really into uh, before K-pop. I still like them too, I still listen to them. Um, which K-pop dance was the most difficult to learn? I want to say dope. I immediately want to say dope, but if, was that the hardest? Yeah, okay. I think dope is the hardest one, really. I do. It's just so freaking fast. <laughs> um, did you teach yourself how to dance, or did you take some dance classes? I started taking dance classes when I was 10 or 11. Um, I did ballet for a little bit, um, and I did tap. No, I didn't. I took one tap class, I think. And then I took jazz for most of the years after that. So I've been dancing on and off since I was about 10 or 11. Um, mostly jazz um, and a couple of hip-hop classes here and there. When I got into high school, I started um, choreographing for the team that I was on. And um, that's where I really started to get passionate about dancing instead of just like, oh, my mom put me in dance, so I'm going to dance. High school is where I was like, yeah, dancing. <laughs> I wish I had knew about K-pop in high school because then I could have choreographed, not choreographed, I could have chosen like a K-pop dance to do for like my high school. That would have been really fun. Anyway, whatever. Um, favorite AOA member? <laughs> Choa and Jimin. I think they're so cute. Um, what was your favorite cover to do? Didn't I just answer that? Yes, I did. Why did I put on there twice? I'm sorry. What other hobbies do you have outside of dancing? Horseback riding, watching horror movies, drawing, baking, staring at my cats all day. <laughs> um, oh god, what else? Video games, horror video games, um, reading scary stories. In case you did not tell, I love being scared. <laughs> Um, ASMR, um, what else? I know I have more hobbies than this. 
uh, video editing, I guess, could be considered a hobby. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, what is my favorite hair color and style that I've had? Or do you have any hair styles or colors that I want to try? Okay, so the color I have right now is currently my favorite color that I've had. Um, I think I would, I think the next time I'm going to get it done, I'm going to get a little bit more purple in it instead of so much red. Um, but I like it. I just got it done yesterday. Oh, it looks so nice. Um, I like that like maroon, purplish, reddish, um, dark hair on me. I think that's my favorite. Um, either that or there was one time where I had like dirty blonde hair that I also really liked. Um, I didn't care for my hair when it was bright blonde. I didn't like my hair when it was black. Um, yeah. I didn't like my hair when I had bangs either. And there was at one point where I had no bangs, like split down the middle that I actually did like it. Um, but then my hair grew weird and I cut it and it, like I could never get that style back again. So I would say I like bangs on me better than no bangs, I guess, at the moment. But not straight bangs. No, no, no. Um, is there anything I want to try? To be honest, I'm like, I'm, I would try a lot of things. But I, I know I'd regret it afterwards if I, if I didn't like it. So, like, part of me wants to go, like, dirty blonde again, but I know my hair would get really damaged, and I'd be like, crap, well, then I'm going to cut my hair. Then I would cut my hair again. I'd probably do some kind of bob. I don't know. I like to do a lot of things with my hair. <laughs> um, what's your favorite Korean phrase? Oh, God. Um, I have a fra favorite French phrase. That's hard to say. Um, I can't think of a favorite... Korean phrase. I mean, I'm trying to think of words that I like to say in Korean or something like the only like funny phrases I know in Korean are just like giant swear words. I'm like, I don't want to just like start swearing at you guys. Um, but French, in case you were wondering, it is Je suis désolé, mais j'ai une petite amie, il est très mignon. <laughs> that is the phrase. That's it. And also pomplemousse, and also ordinateur. These words are so fantastic. I miss learning French. But Korean is great too. Like mianeo, hangugo, togumhal siseo, kunde, achik tamboteo. That one kind of has always rolled off my tongue. Even though it's a very boring phrase, it literally means I'm sorry. I know Korean, but I'm not that good yet. Um. <laughs> um. How do you guys make your K-pop chorus games? Um, I actually, I, I'm the one that makes them on GarageBand. It's really easy to make. If you have GarageBand, I have a Mac, so it just came with it. Um, I just import all the songs and I just splice out the choruses and line them all up with a little countdown in the middle. And boom, that's it. It's literally how I make them. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, what are your favorite TV series? I like um, Friends, Family Guy, American Dad, The Office, Lost, America's Next Top Model, So You Think You Can Dance, Pretty Little Liars. I think that's it. Those are the ones I really like and like continue to watch or like some of them have ended but whatever. Oh, Parks and Rec, that's also another one I really like. Yes. <laughs> um, oh my god, how many questions are there? <laughs> Your favorite Asian dish is Mapo Tofu. It's a Chinese dish and it's my absolute favorite. Oh, it sounds so good right now. Oh my god. It's like tofu and pork with this like sauce and it's like super spicy. And, oh, it's so freaking good. But I also really like tteokbokki. That's, that's probably second. <laughs> Even though it's really unhealthy. <laughs> um, whoa, did I skip something? If you ever become a famous dance choreographer in Korea, who would you want to most most want to work with? Oh shit. Um, who's a good dancing group? That's like maybe EXID or Stellar. One of the groups that are, isn't or. 
yeah, one of the groups that isn't afraid to be sexy because I'd probably add like sassy, 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 and then like some sexy moves in there. So like not a group that is like, like not a pink or something because that would look awkward. Like I feel like if I ever made choreography, it would look really awkward with a pink's concept or like any cutesy concept group. So like I'm sure it would, like four minute would be another good one that I would love to do, you know, choreograph for. That would be awesome. <laughs> um... Do you have any favorite Japanese artists? Would you ever cover a Japanese song? Um, I don't really have any favorite Japanese artists. Um, I don't have, I mean, if I cover a Japanese song, it would be a K-pop group that sang a song in Japanese, you know, like Flower Power by SNSD, but I don't really care for J-pop that much, actually. Just, I mean, some of it's okay, but I haven't like fallen in love with it, you know? Um, what is your favorite song? I already answered that. Um, I like this one. Two people, one person was just like, come to France! Are you ever going to come to France? I want to go to France so bad, you have no idea, because I can order things at a restaurant still. I took three and a half years of French. Don't think I forgot all of it, because I didn't. I still remember some of it, even though my pronunciation's really bad now. Um, I, I'm dying to go to France. And someone else asked me, come to Denmark. And I would travel anywhere, honestly. I would love to visit you guys in any country if I had the money. And someone else asked, would you marry me? Yes. Do you watch So You Think You Can Dance? If so, any favorites? Yes, I do watch it. Um, and it's cool to see some of the choreographers from that show have choreographed K-pop routines. Like nappy tabs. I forgot what they choreographed, but they did something recently. Um, I think one of the choreographers from there did BTS's Dope. I could be wrong on that one. I don't know if he actually ever choreographed on So You Think You Can Dance. Did he? I don't know. Um, do I have any favorites, like, for this season? I don't have a favorite dancer this season yet. Um, I barely even know their names. The season just started, and it takes a long time for me to get, like, connected to one of the dancers, so we'll see. Um, advice on forming your own dance crew. Um, whew. You, okay, so people ask me this a lot. Um, what I always recommend is uh, maybe posting a flyer up at your school, whether you're in high school or college, about um, joining like a dance club. Don't, you don't have to put K-pop dance at first, because I know some people think like, oh, K-pop dance, like, that's stupid. Like, they don't even know. They don't understand. Because they just think Gangnam Style, you know? They just think, oh, it's silly, it's stupid, it's not. You could just put like, um, want to start, you know, starting a K-pop, damn it, don't, <laughs> starting, you can just put starting a dance, t uh, dance group, dance team, dance crew, crew is kind of a better way to put it. Um, if interested, please text and then like put your number or something, make it like colorful. Um, any dancers um, that are looking for like some outside activity might be interested and contact you that way and then you can kind of, um, if they ask you about what it is, you can show them like a K-pop choreography practice video because those are really impressive and it probably get their attention. Um, you can also post online on like community forums or you can put up, um, ask if you can put up signs on like at like your rec center um, near you. You can ask your friends to ask their friends. You can join a dance class and kind of ask around that dance class. I mean there's lots of ways that you can try to interact with other dancers. Um, if you're looking for other K-pop dancers, try to enter like the K-pop World Festival or the K-pop Cover Dance Festival or the, um, yeah, any of those because that's where I met Bailey and Isabel and that's where we started um, covering dances together. So, but that was, that was more like a, like a chance thing, you know, that was just luck. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that is the end of all my questions. That was a lot of questions. I tried to answer a lot, like I said, but God, this video turned out so long. I'm sorry. And I've been trying to talk fast, too. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you learned a little bit more about me, and I hope that you look forward to any future covers that I have coming out soon. And thank you, thank you so, so, so much for supporting my channel. Um, I still read every comment that you guys make. Seriously. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, thank you guys. Sarangheo.